it's interesting to me how things have changed here as well. This entire log is brand new, and I know that because check this out. It's got a boom chain stuck through it. And I would have, I don't know what, I would have gone nuts trying to get this thing out. Because this chain is in really great shape. This is the kind of thing you need a chainsaw or a lightsaber to get free. And I have neither. So I can't do that, but <clears throat> yeah, these boom chains, these are something else. That's all, that's all good iron right there, but this log is just way too big. There's a, uh, on the far end of that is a bar, and uh, that bar could be easily threaded back through this hole and get this chain free, but there's just no way that I can do that. But I probably would have ended up uh, lighting this thing on fire, trying to saw it out or chop it out, because that, boy, what a resource. I found two of them out here, and I use both of them. One for an anchor for my box trap, and the other is my fireplace irons. But yeah, boom chains, they were a great boost. Well, now I'm going to head down the Northwest Passage and uh, get into some prime foraging territory, and it should be really cool. Uh, it seems like the bull kelp has grown up even more than when I was here. I can just see a lot more of it on the surface out there. Maybe the storms rip it up, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's, it's like springtime out there in the ocean. There's just a lot of green. At high tide, the area that I'm standing in is totally underwater. And I had been fishing out there on the reef on the far side of the cove. At dead low tide, I knew I could get across those channels and get out there and fish. And then one day I, I decided instead of doing that, I'm going to come around here and check this area out at dead low tide. And sure enough, I could get through this little cleft in the rocks back here. I could cross over this when I could walk across these rocks uh, like a little trail and it wouldn't swamp my boots. And then at dead low tide, this area drains completely and you can get farther down the coast. So that's, uh, that's when the, the Northwest Passage for me opened up. And what that did for me is it gave me, it was like getting a raise. All of a sudden I had this whole other area about 300 yards more of coastline I could forage and, and fish. And I had already perfected my techniques for fishing and crabbing out there in the reef and in the lagoon. So once I got here, I knew exactly what I was doing. I could start hitting these areas and fish and uh, the last three weeks I was out here, I was eating really well, and it was all from all food from this side of the cove, which I hadn't exploited at all previously. So, yeah, once this opened up, it was like a new lease on life. As the tide continued to get lower, this area here, which had been completely underwater at high tide, all of a sudden I got this little trail I can get through these rocks. This opened up the entire northwest side of my cove and allowed me to stay here long enough to win. This meant food. This little passage right here meant I had abundant food the rest of my time. This is the, my, probably my best fishing spot right here. I call it the fight chair. The very first time I came here, I caught the largest sea perch I caught in my, my entire time. I also caught the largest greenling I caught uh, right here. That big one where I'm going, ah, oh, you know, that's, uh, that was here at this spot. You can see it's right at the edge of the kelp forest and the water here is really deep. You throw a line in here, you're almost guaranteed to get a fish. And if I, if I got skunked at the fight chair, it was going to be a bad day. You know, if by the time I got here, if I didn't have a fish, I had a few other places I could fish on down the coast. And I'd fish my way all the way around. I'd start at the point. Maybe I'd go to the reef, maybe I'd pop back, then I'd come all the way around here. And by the time water got low enough for me to get here, I was in prime territory. And I knew I had about an hour of time out here until I had to get back 
because the water comes back in and floods this whole area and you can't you can't use it you can't get through it I want to fish right now <laughs>